Atlanta Lux, Soweto Parliament. Today I'm all smiles. All smiles because I'm taking this moment to introduce to you the youngest Namibian member of parliament, Commander, Honorable Commander Patience. Patience has opened up the door for the rest of the youth and young people in the African continent to flood into positions of power in politics, in economics, in our social spaces, in our communities. Thank you to the president of Namibia for unlocking the door of hope so that people such as patients can open the door and not only open it but hold it open for young people to come into positions of power and influence the future of this continent, the future of our countries and the future of our communities. Patience is a great example an example of young black women doing great, young black people doing great, young, inclusively so, people, young people in our continent doing great. This is a call that must be answered by all young people, regardless of background and, and race. Young black people, young Indian people, young colored people, young Asian people, young white people let's follow into the footsteps of uh, commander patients and make sure that we too answer the call and get into these positions of power so that tomorrow can be in safe hands because young people are the leaders of tomorrow and it starts today without wasting more time i want to also say to the leaders of the african continent such as honorable cyril ramaphosa the time has come the time has come, it's undeniable. This revolution of young people taking over will be televised. It starts in Africa, it will spread across the world. Young people in America, young people in Europe, young people in Asia. This is our time and without wasting more time, I present to you Honorable Commander Patience. It's one thing for young people's voices to be amplified in Parliament but it's another thing for young people to be driving the agenda of the amplification of young people's voices. It's important that young people have a seat at the table and that they're part and parcel of making the laws in the country that affect the greatest demographic, which is the youth. That is not only on a Namibian stage, but that is on an African stage. It is no secret that the youth Form the greatest demographic. What the president has done and demonstrated with this decision is that he's bridging that divide between the people that are in power versus the people that are going to be in power 20, 30, 40 years from now. And that has been demonstrated by this decision that he's taken.